Hello, this is Tony with Tony's Music. I'm on Doodly version 2.11.9 and I've got to show you uh, something that I've been asked about and to do that what I'm going to do is start off with my scene settings so I'm going to click on there and I'm going to change my background to a yellow background it might be a bit bright but I'll need that for a certain reason right as well as that I'm also going to get rid of the hand so I don't want the hand showing on there like that I'm also going to go to settings in here and do the same in here just make sure it's done right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to characters because I put some settings in here some stuff in here somewhere I did I don't know, I've got to try and find it now. My library was in here. I might have to re load it up. I'm going to have to. Right, so. Um, okay, because of that. Let's just browse for my files. Where are my files now? Um, oh, yeah, I know where they are. It's alright, it just it destroyed the files that I had on on there for some reason. I don't know why that happened. But I had this file and all the two files there. I want them. And the t shirt. I forgot that on there. Okay, I want all them. And I'm going to add them to my files. Right, now what I want to do is drag the outline first. And that, as that's the character, I'm going to show you how to draw the outline and then do the other parts um, as a fading in separate layers from the top to the bottom. Right? So, what I'm going to do is going to do that character first, the outline character. And what I need to do is get that right up as I can, it's a SVG so it will look alright once I do this in a minute they'll come to, what's it, there you go look. right now what I need to do is take that one off because that one ain't right um, I've got past one, I'm going to start off by doing I'm going to take this up a bit more actually if I can, I can't do it yet I'm going to do that and try to take it off no, I can't take it up anymore Never mind. I'm going to start by doing his hair first. So I'll go on the hair. Around here, doing the hair. Make sure I'm on the line if possible. If I go off the line, I can always swap it and change it. You know, move it around. That's a good thing about this. You can actually move it around. And then. I don't really need to, it should be alright anyway because it's been very close here. That's the hair done. I'm going to do the head next. So I need to do his head. I'm going to start off from the bottom of the V here because that's his neck there. All right there, so I need to do that like that. And then I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to the next piece there like that. I'm going to avoid the red ones as much as possible, otherwise it'll funny right whatever you do try to avoid the red dots when you put a new layer on because it'll make it go wrong in the wrong place right so just do your best with what you've got like that and there we are I'm just gonna move that over a little bit because I've gone underneath move it over what is I click that end plus sign there it's got like little diamonds on it and that helps you to move things you can move them around with that right then you just press the normal plus one and you can go back on to draw more puffs right so now I'm going to do the jumper or sweater or whatever you call it or you might call it you just go down here like this and go up there 
if it's a straight line you should be able to do quite a long distance on a straight line but you've got to be careful in case it doesn't work right you know. I tend to go about a centimetre or so and then do another one after a centimetre because it's that's usually a good bet right there we go oh I don't do that one right so I'll get back on there back on there now I can just move them over a little bit because that one's a bit close to the edge there and that one needs to be a bit up like that and then I'm going to bring that one back down a little bit maybe around here a little bit more that's better right next I'm going to do the hands so I'll do one hand for each path so I don't want to do the two together you can do two together but it doesn't look as good as if you do them each separately I know these are not real hands they're like hands in gloves I've done it like that because it was easy to do rather than um, drawing all the hands and everything I could have done but I am not at the time I've been busy so I needed to do something quick so I wanted to get this out for you uh, so you can understand how it works so I'm just going to go forward on that one push that one up right so that's them two then I'm going to go to the next new path which is this one down here the trousers There. I'm going to allow on that one. I'll move that one in a minute. Move that round. What if you want to do so? I'll do them together if I have to. That needs moving as well. Yep. Right, so I'm just going to move a couple of these. Don't want that one being there. Put that one up. This one needs to come back this way a little bit. That one might have to look that way a bit. That one needs to come in a bit like that. That's better. And that one. Right. I need to go out a little touch. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, go on to the next one. Go in from there. I forgot to do the eyes. I'm going to do the eyes in a minute. The rest of the face. But that one isn't so serious as some of the others. So, right, I just need to adjust some of them. Come with a bit low on there. Like that, that's better. That one might need to be a little bit higher. That's it. Bring that one down a little bit. And that one needs to go over that way a bit. Too much. There you go. That's okay. Now, next one right so I'll go down there and go down here uh, I'm just going to swap the change these about in a minute so just gone really wrong on there so I'll just uh, move that one up there like that That one there, that's better, yeah. So then we'll be all right now. Right, so I'm just gonna save and return that. Oh no, I forgot something, I've not. Click on it, go back in. It's all right, we've got all the paths there. Just need to add a new path. I'm just gonna go right up to it. Make it as big as I can, which is 500. Add one more path. 
and just go across the eyebrows from one side like that do the other like that and do that then I'm going to go round the eyes a little bit and then go across the other eye like that. and then I'm going to go out to the nose up the nose that side down there and then the up and I'm going to left side of the mouth all the way out to the right that'll be okay right so that's nine paths I've done and now I'm going to save that now what we're going to do we're going to check it see if that looks all right right we'll do that first and that looks all right to me you can make it take longer if you wish by just adding to the duration a bit longer right so there that's going to be nine seconds to just do that and do it more realistic okay there you go how's that look that looks pretty good and i'm going to take that down to about i'll say about four yeah four will be okay right so i'll do that again gives it enough time to do it but give you a bit, a bit more detail when you do it slower right that looks okay now what I need to do is add all the parts that are cut up because what I did was created a character with colour and what I'm going to do is just drop these in the same place where they are there the big enough Right side yeah. This is the hard bit. Trying to get them back to the right side. There we go. Next one. This one. It's a bit cold, so I need this on. Right. A bit big, so we should do it smaller. That's about right to make. And we're going to do the same with that. As you can see, I'm doing them in order. So, with the head first, then the jack, the jumper. Now I'm doing trousers. That's about right, yeah. And the shoes. Done together on this. Because, uh, Make it a bit quicker. So I need to do it as quick as I can later. It's getting late at night and I need to get done today. Yes. Right. Have a look at that. That looks pretty good. Might just bring it up a bit. Like that. That's about, that. That's about okay. Right, so now what I need to do is with each one of these, I'm going to go on the uh, pencil tool, change the draw to fade for each one, right, and save and return it. Right, so there's the next one, pencil tool, fade, return, trousers, pencil tool, change to fade. Turn. and then the shoes pencil tool fade save and return right now we'll just preview that and see how it goes there you go now it's coming in nice and steady yeah you could do the hand separate if you wanted to, or do each hand separate if you want. But I'm, I'm just showing you how to do it anyway. So because I'm doing a video uh, tutorial, I'm going to try and make it as quick as I can because of the time I'm on the uh, night time now, so I'll put it down at night. So um, there we are with that. What we need to do now is export that. As a W E V M, a WebM, right? 
So what we're going to do is going to go to WebM there and change that to 1080 1920 1980 I think sorry and then change that to call it now title yeah just in now title replace that one yeah and then export so I'm exporting that and once I've done that I'm going to finish on Doodly then and I'm going to go on to Mavavi Video Suite and when I get on there I will remove the yellow background and save it as a WebM and you will see that it does become a transparent background right so we'll just wait a minute won't take long well, it's nearly finished now so seconds okay that's done right so now we're gonna show it what it boil there it is now there it is over there and I'm just going to pull that to one side and I'm going to turn off Doodly close that turn that off and now I need to open the Vavi Video Suite and launch the video editor now I've done that I'm going to add a file which is the one that I just made which is Now type right that one. As you can see, we need to put, bring it over here and just try to check it. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, it's going in order. It's fine. Right, so we've done that. We made sure it's okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to chroma key which is there and just click on the yellow area and that will just show it like that and straight across to there right now what we need to do is export that export as joey we call it joey Uh, we want it as a WebM. High quality. There we go, we just do that. Right, so now we are now rendering it as a WebM, which it was a WebM before, but it'll be a WebM without a background. Now, for some reason, it doesn't change it into a transparent background or do it even though it's a WebM. No, right, so now I can open the file. Right, it's there it's on animations. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my video, project files, open, add file, go to. Uh, desktop YouTube animations there it is that's the WebM file right as you can see it's there what I'm gonna do is now get some project sample videos or project files I'll just do backgrounds let's just get a background put a background on here bring it along Character over the top, 
and let's just play that. As you can see, a character is being seen on the background. And there you go. And that's how you get a character to actually um, have layers that fade in on, from Doodly. Right. So you, you create your character and you create the different splits of different things you want to fade in and then you put them on and just um, do the actual uh, paths for the outline and make all the other parts fade in and then save them as a web M um, take off the background in another app like I've done and just save it as the same thing and you, you've got one that's got a transparent background and then you can use it with something like what I've just did this uh, colourful background and that's how you do it so if anybody's interested in this please like and subscribe to Tony's Music and I hope you enjoyed this video thank you